You got a spare in the trunk. She should. No! Damn. Damn, you Looney Tune, you got a dead body in there or something? <laughs> Um, Dominique Fishback here in the Blue Room at South by Southwest with Prime Video for Swarm. How I prepared was actually journaling. A lot of times for my characters, I journal as them. But with Dre, I, I couldn't because the psychology of the scripts really didn't allow for a thread or like a through line. So instead, I journaled as myself to identify any pauses or fears that I had as an actor to clear them away so that I could be a clear vessel to tell the story in a brave and passionate, fearless way. I wish I could say like I, I studied these different things, but really it was about being present. I wanted to be present and if I did that, then I would allow the other actors to influence how Jay shows up in the world and so it was more an experiment for me as an actor instead of doing all the, the beat work and all of those things it was like okay I don't know who Dre is she doesn't really probably even know who she is so I'm just gonna show up and let the present moment dictate how she develops. Well there's definitely things that I could say that's like a shorthand just in general. A lot of the collaborators that I've been able to work with have been really understanding and uh, collaborative. But with Janine, it was like, she was like, this is what we want to represent. And I love hearing her talk about Swarm. The universality of the show for me is love. And Dre loves fiercely. She loves her sister fiercely and she loves Niger fiercely. And so I think that many of us could relate to loving people fiercely. And so I think that's one of the things that allowed me to like operate and think that women will feel connected to. In terms of Dre, I love that she marches to the beat of her own drum that she finds that within herself. She kind of had it all along, but even though her drum is a different rhythm and far from mine or many of us, she is powerful in that she doesn't care what other people think. Ooh, favorite behind the scenes moment from filming. Okay, so for example, uh, Billy in episode four, I was like, I remember we were doing the EU scene, like where I'm talking about my memories and things and it was my coverage and I'm like, really like kind of going there and she goes, dude, are you okay? Like just to like check in and I just stayed in character and just kept going and like went back into it. But it was like one of the sweetest moments. <laughs> I learned that I was brave. When they invited me to consider the show, they told me to watch this movie called The Piano Teacher. And it's a crazy show. It's actually on Prime, so anybody wanna check it out, they can. <laughs> it started off one way, just like character study. And then all of a sudden it took this dark turn. And I was like, why do they want me to watch this? And I was like, well, if they want me to do that, I don't know if I can. I had to look through the script and say, dang, I want to do it, but I'm scared, I'm nervous. But I thought about all the other artists who had done things that they were afraid of and how that changes their lives and their careers. One, I just want to celebrate uh, Monster, Charlize Theron, and Hilary Swank in Boys Don't Cry because that, when I was younger and I watched it on screen, I was like, whoa. I want to do that. Like, as an actor, can I get the opportunity? And a lot of times we don't see women of color get to play characters that are so far from who you are and the characters that you get to play. So I was really excited for this opportunity because we don't see it often. So I think that we're going on a good path if we continue to be brave about our art. One of the things that Donald said was, I just want to try something. I don't know if it's going to work, but I just want to try. And then he got Chloe and Damson and Billy and Paris and all of these amazing artists to just try something, even if it's scary. So I think I think we're maybe heading in a really good uh, revolutionary direction. I want to work with Jeremy Pope. I know him from the from the theater world and from New York, and I just love his eyes. His eyes tell deep and profound stories, and to be able to connect like that with him, that'd be dope. Oh, I wanted to be Lucy so bad. I was like 10 years old, I stay up really late and watch I Love Lucy and be like, I wanna be like Lucy, I can do that. 
And it's so funny that the first like big TV thing I got was David Simon and HBO, and so that's not comedy, <laughs> it's drama, and I keep doing these dramatic things, but that's why I really love Swarm, and I'm excited about it, because it does have a lot of levity. It's dark, but it has dark humor and comedy, and I get to be physical. I love, like, I love Jim Carrey. I love his physicality and Liar Liar and those films, and so although I haven't gotten a chance to do straight comedy, the physicality that I get to explore with this character allows me to tap into those different projects that I admire. I'm a romantic, like super duper romantic. I play basketball, I play football. I'm a great quarterback. I have a sister who's 15 years younger than me. She's the cool one. <laughs> I got, let me see if I can get a real good one for you. I write spoken word poetry, and my poetry has changed form as I as I grow, and now I'm exploring what it looks like to write like a memoir in poetry. If I got to do her makeup, I wouldn't be able to touch her face. My hands would be shaking so much. You still tweeting from that old ass swarm account? Mm-hmm. She's not like everybody else. She knows what we're thinking and she gives it a name. She's a goddess. With your feet on the air and your head on the ground. I gotta grow up, Dre. I can't stay here with you. Why are you doing this to me? I had to ask you to leave. Try to strip and spin it. What do you think she's doing right now? Who's your favorite artist? <laughs> You're a killer bee. Part of the swarm. <laughs> Talk about Nyjah. He gets stung. They are not your friends. Those are some crazy ass fans. This is feeling a little bit sketchy. You know, I always knew you were gonna be something. I was like, she's so weird. You got a spare in the trunk. No! Damn, you got a dead body in there or something? <laughs> Who is your favorite artist? You have to meet her one day. Promise me. You will. I promise. I like her sister better. She seems more like, you know, spiritual. <laughs>